The hot topic for the last few months is of Taylor Swift and the new man in her life, Travis Kelsey. However, by the way it's playing out, he's not just the next guy she's dating. Nope, because it's pretty obvious to everyone and their grandma that this time it feels different. Even though neither has officially confirmed their relationship status, they're also not being coy about how they're going about it either. Travis really went from this to this and he seems like the absolutely perfect man for Taylor. Because this time she's being so much more open about their relationship, showing more emotion and public displays of affection. And it blew wide open with Saturday's concert in which Travis was in attendance. That night, everyone could feel the electrified air. Taylor didn't hold anything back. While giving the performance of her life, she tossed so many love bombs at Travis Kelsey's way, it lit up the stadium crowd. And much to their delight, it set off eruptions of cheers and chants for the couple. This is from just what we can see. And with each passing week, we're getting more and more reports from sources that they've already been serious. The red-hot romance between Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey has taken over the internet by storm. And there's no sign of it slowing down. Insiders have recently claimed that it is obvious to friends of the couple that the anti-hero singer and the NFL star are in love with each other, even though they have not publicly admitted it yet. Friends think they're in love and that he makes her feel as if she doesn't have to worry about anything when they are together. Taylor is really happy and excited about Travis. She's at the relationship stage where she looks forward to seeing him, getting calls from him, spending time with him. She has butterflies in her stomach and she hasn't had that in a while. She feels safe and comfortable around him physically and emotionally. It all started when Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift were romantically linked in September, when Swift first attended a Kansas City Chiefs game at Arrowhead Stadium. Now, just a few months later, a source tells the messenger that things are serious and they are in a relationship. It is serious between Taylor and Travis, said the insider. They are fully dating and in a relationship the source went on to say neither of them expected them to move quickly, but they have been inseparable since they first connected. They see each other as much as they can during this busy season. Swift began the Latin America leg of her heiress tour on Thursday, and Kelsey flew to Buenos Aires, Argentina to watch her perform on Friday. However, the show was postponed due to weather, and they spent the evening at a steakhouse together in the city. The audience in attendance on Saturday's show with Travis cheering her on were treated to a performance of a lifetime. You can see that she put in extra effort into the show as her emotions were on full display, and she wasn't trying to be subtle about it either. Taylor broke off from her normal concert routine to purposely include Travis by directly looking his way while singing lyrics that encapsulates her true feelings. When the multi-Grammy winner started to perform her hits from her reputation era, Kelsey looked visibly impressed and was spotted mouthing, wow. While she sang Endgame for her surprise song at her show with Kelsey watching and listening closely and attentively, I wanna be your Endgame, she sang the lyrics, which seemed to be directed towards him. I wanna be your first string, I wanna be your A-team, I wanna be your Endgame. She also sang her 2017 hit song, Delicate. She pointed towards the VIP box and appeared to be singing directly to Kelsey as she mouthed the words, You must like me for me. She also pointed to the football star as she continued singing, Is it cool that I said all that? Is it chill that you're in my head? Is it chill that you're in my head? Cause you know I'm standing there. Kelsey seemed to enjoy style, famously about Swift's ex Harry Styles, and pretended to play a piano as he danced and sang along. When Swift sang the line, You know I love the players, she pointed at the football star as fans screamed in delight. At the end of her concert, Swift referenced Kelsey as she changed the lyrics of her song Karma, singing Karma is the guy on the Chiefs coming straight home to me. 
Mama is the guy on the trees. Come and say hi. The alteration drew immediate screams from the crowd as Kelsey was captured on video, bringing his hands to his face and breaking out in a big grin. Swift's father was also seen tapping Kelsey on the shoulder and clapping his hands in apparent excitement. Now that felt like she threw everything out there just shy of straight up saying, I love Travis Kelsey. And if that wasn't enough, the cherry on top was after the show, and in front of fans, she literally ran into her man's arm for a warm embrace with a big kiss. And yes, I'm sure all Swifties felt their hearts welling up, for this was the moment that they've been waiting for. To finally see Taylor unabashedly showing how genuinely happy she really is with Travis, and that he gives her the butterflies. Is there any doubt left that they are surely in love? The scene took place when the pop star was seen waving to fans before running over to the Kansas City Chiefs tight end and planning a kiss on him in photos and videos shared by fans on social media. In a clip, the pair wrapped their arms around each other and turned around before heading off stage at the Estadio River Plate Stadium. I'm sure Taylor feels grateful that Travis made time to show up and give his support during the busy NFL season. Because even though he had a bye week that allowed him to make this trip, the next day he jetted back off to Kansas City for the team's practice on Monday. So finding time to be together has been a priority for them. When they are not together, they are constantly FaceTiming and texting, the source explained. Friends around them think it is very cute and they are a great match. Taylor is having a lot of fun with the wives and girlfriends in the league. Brittany Mahomes has welcomed her with open arms and has really been the ringleader merging Taylor, her friends, and the girl groups together. And Taylor seemed to really hit it off when she and her longtime gal pals got together with her new group of wives and girlfriends of sports athletes or WAGs for an epic girls' night out in NYC. It made headlines in the press and was all over social media. Brittany Mahomes is the wife of Kelsey's teammate, Patrick Mahomes. She and Swift have developed a close friendship in the last few months as well, attending several games together, plus dinners in New York, with some of Swift's other friends, including Blake Lively, Sophie Turner, and Selena Gomez. They continued, it is a new era for Taylor and she is loving this season of her life. It is very different from her normal group of friends, but they have all been having a great time going to the games and bonding together. Taylor has really had an open mind to this new world, and the girls think she's really enjoyable to be around. Another noteworthy thing that took place on Saturday's show when Taylor said she had sort of a crazy day yesterday, because I started my morning by getting the extraordinary news that because of you, and because of the way you have supported my album Midnights, it got nominated for six Grammys, she said. Midnights, it just got nominated. Hands pumping in the air from her Ivy piano, she took a dance break. She is the only female artist to win Album of the Year three times. Midnight's would give her a fourth triumph. Travis Kelsey cheered along with the crowd of this announcement of remarkable achievement. So how are you Swifties doing out there after all that's happened in the last couple of days? Let us know in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and check out one of these videos.